Come on, make it loud to your lover. Make it loud to your father. Don't wait for a song this morning. Lift up a sound to the lover. Lift up a sound to your father. If I be lifted up, I will draw men to me. Lift up the name of your God.
संदीप जी Amen. Okay, I didn't know they have counted three. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Okay. Amen, amen, amen. All right, all right. How are you doing today? Such a joy to be in God's presence. Such a joy, such a joy, such a joy. I'm excited. Are you? I'm excited. I'm always, in fact, I'm particularly excited because of our prayer this morning. Um, the fact that I know that um, it is going to be a, a major shift in somebody's life. I didn't hear amen to that. Amen. All right. God strengthens you in the name of Jesus. Now, let me, let me help you, you know, um, understand this. Um, prayer is very powerful. Um, I'm going to say two things even as we begin to worship God. I'm going to say two things, and I want you to pay attention to these two things. Sometimes I like to say the very important things first, because so that they don't, you know, and all that. Um, I think earlier this week, um, somehow we had to do, we had to have an officiation, a graveside officiation. And... Um, I took a walk. I've done that about three weeks ago or two weeks ago, no, last month. Took a walk again around, you know, the burial grounds and all that. And I called the attention person. I said, do you notice that 90% of people here died young? I said, do you notice that 90%, 90%, I said, look at it. 1980 this, 1990 this, 19... See, ninety percent. It was so scarce to see something late. The forties. I'm not sure I even saw one. And I said two things. Number one, understanding the power of the blood for protection. Number two, health. Health, which includes good diet, which includes regular exercise, which includes regular intake of water, which includes avoiding living a healthy lifestyle, um, and all that. The blood that comes in, regardless of the lifestyle you live, some things are more spiritual than physical. Even if you gym 20 times a week. There is the spiritual part. Now, you don't just do the physical, you understand the spiritual. Um, now, listen to what I'm showing you, because this is, this is going to lay the foundation for our prayer. When we gather to pray, we are not wasting time. The world we are living in is a very, 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 very wicked place. If you have the opportunity to hear the warning people will give you in their last moment, maybe you will live wiser. Some trusted those they should not trust. Some went to places they should not go. Some took things for granted. And all that. We're not here mocking people who have passed. Now, 
Now that you have the opportunity to pray, pray. Now that you have the opportunity to do what is right, do what is right. You know, I was going to call, um, how do I even say? Um, yesterday, I had, I had some of my people come, come greet me. When I came back, they were surprised they met me in my gym clothes. So I go to gym. I, I've not been too faithful this year, but don't just pray. Do what is right. Don't just pray. Eat right. Don't just pray. Exercise. There might be one or two people here that God has been saying, take your health serious. Take your health serious. Take too much sugar. Take your health serious. You live a sedentary lifestyle as you sit at the spot, you don't exercise. Take your health serious. You eat too late at night. Take your health serious. You don't take water. These are, these are, um, you know, I try to bring interpretation to what God is saying to people. If you are here, and God has been telling you, go to gym this year. Now, this is me confirming it. You wonder why he's saying this little prayer? Because that's place of wisdom. Don't get too busy that you don't do what is right. We are going to pray. We are going to praise God. Hey, but I don't intend to leave any one of you behind. Do what is right. Are you following what I'm saying here? Do what is right. right. Do what is right. We're going to deal more this morning with protection. Okay? The power in the blood. The power in the blood. Um, the protection of God. I'm going to share a few things with you, then we're going to pray aggressively. Amen. Have you learned something this morning from the few things I said? Very important. I don't want to come from the medical perspective. There are a few things I would have loved to share. But once our TV station starts, we are starting soon. I think at the very latest, this time next month, we should be on here. So, there are things that we don't usually say in church. But it's not right. That's the place where wisdom should flow from. So, we don't have people saying amen, saying amen praying prayers, but they also not get certain part right. And that becomes the entry point for the devil. Are you following what I'm saying? Yes. One of the secrets of longevity is to live a strife-free life. Your blood pressure is rising. You are angry with everyone. You are fighting with everybody. You can't sleep. You are bitter. A merry heart do it good like medicine. IBP, cancer, many of these things, they, they, they have root. They have root. Somebody is hypertensive, but the same person is the one who shout. You are going to read text messages that doesn't concern you. Now you want to die. The, when I speak, I, you see, anybody who has encountered my prophetic ministry knows that there's somebody specific like that. Don't die when you can live. Don't die when you can live. All right. We give Jesus praise. Okay? We give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. Have you learned something this morning? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Let's bless his holy name. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be your holy name. 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 Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. I, I think the Lord will have me just say a few more things. How many of us praying Christians? Let me ask you a question. This is 
April um, 19th. This is the fourth month. How many of us praying Christian? We pray, we do all that. You know, if you get close to us, you know we pray aggressively. How many of us praying Christians have done at least one checkup this year? Kidney function test, blood sugar, wider test. How, ma how many have gone? See, I, I don't likely do. I, don't, I'm, I know we pray. That's why I'm, I'm saying we need to get the balance. How many have gone to do tests this year? Best bit of righteousness. Huh? Um. Okay. If you have not done any, I urge you now, go and do. This morning we are going to pray, like I said, about protection, but... A, wisdom is a defense. Is that okay now? If you haven't done, carry yourself this morning now. Go to the hospital. You are the one who drink coke twice a day. Go now. I know you don't like needle. Close your eyes and do it. You look at the way you've been breathing and the way you've been doing it. Go for ECG. Let them check the rhythm of your heart. Ordinary just to check your BP. Do it. If you do, say you don't have time, you see, you, 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 you work in an office, there's air condition. You drive to the office or they drive you. Then you sit down from 9 till 5 p.m. Then you come back inside the bus or on the car. Then you get to your house, there's air condition. You sit down, also somebody has cooked. Number one, there's no avenue to even sweat out. Number two, you are not even taking steps. There, there's this... Uh, maybe, maybe I should stop. Maybe I'm shouting. I think I'm shouting. I think I'm shouting. Am I shouting? These are things we should tell us. We prayed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this Friday. Let's tell us tomorrow is Saturday. Jog! You see it. You walk five minutes. <sighs> Something is not right. Many are, many are working as living cops. They are not fit. We don't learn these things in the world. Let me take two more minutes to ask you a few questions. When you wake up every morning, what's the first thing you take? What do you even know? I'm not saying this to put you in fear. What I'm saying as a pastor, I have done the start. I've seen it. I went to a burial ground and saw that I've made the people die young. Oh, my mic has fallen. My mic has fallen. Oh. Are you with me? Hold on. I won't say, I won't stop. I, even with my mic fall, I'll continue from where I stop. Are you with me? Yes, sir. I'm back. I'm, I'm going to say what I have to say. Because I love you too much to be quiet. Let me say this to you, and this, 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 this might be low blow. A big person who exercises is most likely going to live long than a slim person who doesn't exercise. Forget about your stature. If that sounds like a jab, take it. <laughs> That's the fact. A, a big person who exercise regularly is most likely going to live longer than a slim person who doesn't work. Forget about fat. Okay, let me leave that now. Because as we pray here, we have to strike balance. Now, technology has made everything quite terrible. Many people work from home. If you check, you may not even have a new to, to work again. 
there's juicer, there's plate washer, there's <laughs> everything, washing machine. That's why now people are dying faster. It is pathetic. So I, I got a call. I got a call. Somebody came back from work, drove into his house, opened the gate, and died. Sat down back to drive in there and died. In Africa, the reason why bad is to repeat itself is because we blame the devil. I was shot. Arrow. How was that person living? What was the person liver saying? What was the person lung saying? What was the, what was, what was, what was the, um, what was it called now? Um, pulse level. We don't check. We pray, 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 and pray. And statistics is making us look like fools. Are you what I'm saying? I bet it. Everybody here, this morning or today, go on a 30 minute walk. Tag me on social media, on Twitter. Um, hashtag Femi Lazarus L to, L to walk. Take, you do 30 minutes. Some of you say, hey, Apostle, I, I track regularly. You know, I don't have a car. <laughs> the, well, listen, the one you do because of compulsion, that one is lack. The one you do because of your health, that one is actually deliberate. You trigger different moon. Poverty and desire to fast, they don't trigger the same moon. No, that's the truth. Oh, my, my, my. Yes, sir. Hmm. 30 minutes. You might somebody who is very huge, fix parts, everything check. That's natural. The person is dying. The person is dying. No, that's a fact. The person is dying. Now, people will age faster because of what they eat. People don't even know that fasting makes you younger. Just, just put food aside and decide 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Already, so I, I was in London. I discovered, first thing to, I, I, it occurred to me, is that the air we are breathing in Nigeria is toxins. It, the air there is clean. Then I went to Scotland, the air is more clean. And they said, as you go up north, the air becomes cleaner. So apparently the odds is against you. 2 0. <laughs> Particularly those of you in Lagos. You breathe in all kinds. You see cars that look like a car that came to draw passenger from hell. <laughs> the car will pass with all smoke. That's what you're beating. But at the same time, you are not helping it. To, I don't, you know, I'm a man of the spirit. And we pray here every day. Now, permit me to also tell you, this doesn't make me carnal. These are things we don't tell ourselves. Yes, sir. You enter boss, you enter along, you enter all those things. You enter people who are smelling fish, who are smelling all kinds. <laughs> Some don't know what their lungs is saying. The kind of lungs some people have, they don't need perfumes. They are, their body is reacting to it. And they don't know yet. When you tell an average person, go for church, they me, say, I don't chop. No. It means, now who they are alive, they chop. <laughs> <laughs> are you following what I'm saying? Yes, we don't tell ourselves the truth. I went to minister somewhere in Ghana and I saw the pastor's wife. Her skin was as the skin of a new baby. So I said, what do you do? We're talking over breakfast. So she showed me a juice. She takes this juice every morning. So I take that juice every morning. Too. I don't, I'm going to get fresh. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. But I, I take it every morning too. But I decided to take it more serious. Not juice now, it's a plant. 
We say the father of faith this. Oh, look at the fathers of faith in Nigeria. Look at the father of faith. They are 80 something. They are living you. Hey, shh. Do you know what they eat? Some of them have never tasted the rice for the past 30 years. You are just saying amen. Some of them don't cook with this your oil, the point I bought in the market. They use pure olive oil. Some of them don't eat certain kind of food. They don't eat processed food. Everything, they give attention to it. Trio. <laughs> you just believe it's by saying amen. Amen. You shall live no amen. Go and learn. Some of them are preaching. They have four doctors watching. If they blink, they know what it means. <laughs> you don't have doctor. <laughs> Take yourself serious. I know what I'm saying. Though. Before I take anything, I, maybe I should not say because I don't. Because it doesn't. Take yourself serious. Take yourself serious. Because in Nigeria, we don't like truth. We don't like truth. We don't like truth. <laughs> Pastor Matthew Ashimlo came out. He said, the last time I ate rice was 25 years ago. Wow. Last time I ate this one was... You eat rice. You take semo. You take cake. You take puff puff. You take meat pie. You take coke. You take Fanta. You take... Accumulate all those things. You can't trek five minutes. You are already in your 20s or 30s, but your body is 60. You are combined like three jobs. You barely sleep. And you have motivational quote anyway. When a man sleeps, he's going to be poor. The one who taught you just woke up. <laughs> just woke up. You go online and pick up stories. Somebody say, hey, I don't sleep till 1 a.m. And I don't, I wake up by 4. Okay, then he does what he's doing. Thank God. What does he go to do after he goes to sleep? You don't know. Somebody said the doctor I can afford now is Jesus Christ. You will soon know. <laughs> you will soon learn. Jesus will check your blood pressure. Oh, wow. It takes a lot to keep religion. It takes a lot. The, the gravesite I went to that I said 90% died young. It's a Christian gravesite. And they all have Jesus as, as, as great physician. Let's take things serious. If God has been laying in your heart, go and exercise. This is, this is the confirmation. Don't say I'm a preacher. I'm always talking about That's different. One day you walk there and collapse. That's different. Take your health serious. Are you putting that in? Ah, I believe something has been shared this morning. Am I correct? Something. Have you been blessed? Yes, sir. Uh, did you learn something? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Okay. We give Jesus praise for all that he's doing. Let's go ahead, lift our voice and thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank Jesus. Let's give him all the praise. Let's honor him. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, we bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, even as we start praying now, don't forget, I gave you an assignment. You know, I've said to you in this morning prayer, I'm not going to leave you alone. I've given you an assignment. Everyone here, try 30 minutes today. Hashtag Femi Lazarus L Talk. Huh? Breastplate of righteousness. 30 minutes. Hmm? Element of salvation. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Okay? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. I want to show you a scripture. 
Let's turn our Bibles quickly. Exodus chapter number 12. Exodus 12. How many of you are going to take the walk this morning? I'll put the hashtag in the comment section. Let me be sure that I've not wasted my time. Let me be sure. Put the hashtag in the comment section. I want to be sure. You will do it. I'm going to be very happy. I see that you do it. And let's share this video with family members and friends. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. Let's do what is right. There are times you see me close morning prayer early. If I see that I'm tired, I'm going to close. I will now will close. There are many money prayers. I'm going to close. You think I'm going to be here and managing the apostle now friend? They say, hey, hey, is the devil which can... Some will screenshot it. I say, pray for faith, and God forbid. I'm going to round up. <laughs> Are you following what I'm saying? 30 minutes at least. Watch that time. Trek. Pack your car and trek, my friend. Amen. All right, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm going to be looking out for you on Twitter, I'm going to be looking out for you on everywhere. Let's try. If you can take a picture of yourself trekking and sweating, do so. I'm going to be very glad. I'm going to be very glad. Even me, I'm going to trek to the gym this morning. I won't drive. I won't drive. See the person say, okay. All right. All right. Let me. I must revenge. Okay. Let me hold on. Exodus 12. Are you there? Now there's an instruction in Exodus 12. There's an instruction. For everyone who are dead, the Israelites for so long. God said, now I've dealt with the first part, part which is physical. I'm going to use the same aggression to deal with the second part, which is spiritual. And I'm going to be telling you, I won't hold back. I won't hold back. I'll be sharing things with you. Now look at it. The Israelites have been in Egypt for a while. So God said, this is the final knockout punch. I'm going to pass through Egypt. And I'm going to strike, born, strike down the firstborn of beast of man and everything. So God gave an instruction. <clears throat> now look at this. Exodus 12 now. So this is where you will have the instruction of the Passover. Okay? Let's start reading from verse 12. It says, For I will pass through the land of Egypt on that night, and will strike all the firstborn land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt will I execute judgment. Now the blood shall be a sign for you on the house where you are, the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be on you, shall not be on you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. So this day shall be to you a memorial. And you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it as a feast by an everlasting ordinance. Hey, what's going to happen? There's going to be mass destruction, mass death. But it says that the fellow coming to usher that will not cross the bloodline. Let's go to Psalms 91. Psalms 91. Somebody, how do we Tag you on Twitter. Just hashtag Femme Lazarus L Talk. Put your picture, put your video. I'm going to be very glad. And I want the media to cut out this video for me this morning. Psalms 91, are you there? Let me show you from. 
Now, look at it. Let me read from King James. Okay? Very, very powerful scripture. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from noisome pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings shall you trust. His truth shall be your buckler. You shall not be afraid for the arrow by night, for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for destruction that wastes in noonday. A thousand shall fall by your right, and ten thousand by, by your left, and ten by your right. But it shall not come near you. So we are in the days where thousands and tens of thousands are falling. You must understand the protection of the blood. It is not a cake. To know how to cover your family, your household, with the blood of Jesus. Every form of evil is flying every day. Both those who want you dead but are laughing with you. This world, it is not news, it is a wicked place. So you have to know the way of power. You have to know the way of what? Power. You have to know the way of the blood. You have to. Everyone, wherever you are, I want to get up on your feet this morning. You're going to put your own hand on your head. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. My family, my household, my children, if a pastor, all members of the church, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood for protection. We plead the blood for protection. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against me will prosper. Blood of Jesus. 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 Man ke shen de rogoshente. Reko sam blate rogoshente. Oh yes. Reke sen de rogoshente. Reke sen de rogoshente rogoshente. Oh yes. Rente rogoshente rogoshente. Oh yes. Rente rogoshente rogoshente. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Come on, speak it. Speak it. Plead the blood of Jesus. You go out every day. Come back and take all kind of risk. Plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus. 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 Oh, I plead the blood of Jesus. My life is preserved by the authority of the blood. My life is preserved in the name of Jesus. My life is preserved. My life is preserved. I am hidden in Christ. In the name of Jesus. Hidden in Christ. My life is preserved by the authority of the blood. In the name of Jesus. My life is preserved. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Hear what I'm saying. No? Hear what I'm saying. Let me show you a scripture. Matthew 6. So you can understand. No? Because many times we joke. Let me show you something. Maybe you didn't pay attention to it. If you are there, say amen. Huh? Okay. Matthew 6, 13. This is Jesus taking people out to pray. Jesus. Jesus said, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from what? If Jesus considered the need for deliverance from evil. You just know small grace message. You say, oh, don't worry, we are free. You don't know what you are talking about. 
Jesus is the person of grace. He recognized that there's a need for deliverance from evil. You want to go You get burned, then burned. That's it. He said, that's it, that's it, that's it. I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. Who are you? This Jesus team has to pray. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us from evil. Hey, there are evil men. I showed you. I was here teaching two weeks ago. A man went outside, met a boy that was suffering. And said, hey, what's wrong with you? Said, this, this, this. I've been going through this. No families to help me. Nobody. They come to my house. Come today, all your worries are over. I'm going to help you. That same night, that boy stabbed him in over 14 places. Just to go with ATM card, television set, and car. And wasted him. I share with you also, the house help. The house help that went to poison the entire family. Put battery acid inside the food. Battery acid. Their father was not worth it first and saw what happened to him. So he said that the girl tastes the food. The girl started crying that she can't. There's, there's wickedness in this world. Everyone, everywhere, give things to your baby, give things to your children. Everyone, just eat. Ga, 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 ga. No prayer, no vetting, no checking. There are village occasions you have no business taking your family to. Not because you are afraid. Even if you can protect yourself. Those children are young. Forget about blackmail. Forget about guilt trip. Even Jesus, they escaped with him. For a while. Even Jesus, there's God said, wrong with that child. God, in human flesh, they say escape with him. They, they will kill him. They would have slaughtered him. Say, hey, this is the first Christmas in the village as married couple. Let's go. Oh, you have gone now. They dashed you 15 years of waiting. How many people are happy that you are doing well and their children are not? There are people who only like you because God has now blessed you. They have no choice. Do you hear what I said? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are people that have no choice but to like you since you are the one God has blessed. I was talking with a friend and he narrated to me how an uncle killed six members of the family in four years. Because they were the ones doing, doing well. Including his mom and two siblings. Because they are the ones doing well. If you know that you came from a strong place, forget about nonsense. Separate yourself for a while till you know you are strong too. Strong dead is not protection. No. You must know the way of power. You must know the way of the blood. You know, I've told you about health and fitness. Now I'm telling you spiritual fitness. Six packs doesn't make you grow spiritually, but it's important for your health. Just one slap, you can start vomiting speed. One. One slap. From sleep. Just one. One knock on the head. Person said that's person said. Most times, people feel that when you talk in this direction, you are, you are. There are families that stop knowing peace since they went to the village. You say, the kind of prayer we pray in Africa. The prayer we pray, pray in Africa. They don't pray that prayer in America. Is it Nehu in America? Is it Jebu in America? Are they thinking alike? What's your problem? And many of these places, because you've not stepped there, people have more problems abroad than Nigeria. Quote me anywhere. Many are here, they will not even talk the way you are talking. Sometimes we just talk anyhow and listen to people who, don't have, who are not thinking about what they are saying. Protect yourself. Pray. What did I say? As we are paying every money, we are not wasting time. We are not wasting time. 
Hold on to God, sir. Hold on to God, sir. Hold on to God. Strange things happen in this life. Somebody is coming from work with a laptop that the fellow wants to repair. They've stabbed the person. Only to destroy that laptop is bad. Everywhere I step, the blood of Jesus is a mark over me. Every plane I take, every car I take, every bike I take, everywhere I go, the blood of Jesus is a mark. Over my household. Please pray. Pray. The blood of Jesus. 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 Everywhere I step. The blood of Jesus. Everywhere I go in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. As I travel across territories, the blood of Jesus. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. And begin to neutralize all hostilities against your soul. For surely they shall gather. But as many as are gathered not concerning God's will, will be scattered. As many gatherings as have insisted that they will have no rest till they see my hand. An end comes to their gathering. An end comes. In the name of Jesus. An end comes. An end comes to their gathering. An end comes to their gathering. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. The 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 blood of Jesus. Come on, pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your children. Pray for your household. Pray. We plead the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Let me tell you the reason why you must plead the blood. The instruction he gave them in Exodus 12 is that when the angel of death and destruction sees the blood, it will pass over. What does the blood communicate? The blood says there is no need for death to enter. Somebody already died. It's a technology in the spirit. Christ already paid in full. Anybody here under the sound of my voice who is already battling with any kind of sickness by the authority in the blood of Jesus, I declare you free this morning. Amen. Anything that is not going well in your body, I command them right now to be repaired in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let there be repair. Amen. Let there be repair. Amen. Let there be repair. Amen. Any organ that is already shutting down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by the power and the authority in the blood, I command healing now. Amen. I shut down every thought, every dream of death. I shut it down. Amen. Amen. I bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Everywhere you go, you are protected in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
you're going out and coming in. He's blessed. Amen. No devil will touch your life. Amen. Be blessed. Be blessed. Be blessed. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now listen to this. Any form of divination against you, any form of gathering against your life, they won't succeed. Amen. Try hard as they may, they won't succeed. Amen. The jealousy of God is casted over you now. Amen. You are protected. Amen. You are protected. Amen. The redeemed of the Lord will doubtlessly return. Amen. As you go out, you will come back. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now listen to this. There's a covering of a praying community. There's a covering. Hmm. There are angels whose duty is extended as we pray. Everyone under the sound of my voice is under this covering. You will not die young. Amen. You are preserved. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The hand of God will rest upon you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, amen. God strengthens you. Hmm? Now, I'm going to listen. I'm going to pray final prayer. But before I do it, don't forget. Everyone this morning, even if it's going to be on your way to walk on your way back, 30 minutes. Family Lazarus Health Walk. Just 30 minutes. Watch your heartbeat. Watch. you see what has happened in your body. Check. You're on campus, hey, yes, except you have lecture, okay? Don't have lecture this month. Go, you have break time, do it. Check yourself. Then make it a custom. Hallelujah. Make it a what? Custom. Have you been blessed this morning? If you're under the sound of my voice and you have not given your life to Jesus, do so now. That's even more important than what we want to do this morning. It doesn't matter if you take 200 hours of health work. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you die and go to hell. But he loves you so much. He loves you so much. That's why he came and died for you. And he rose on the third day. So you can be seated where he's seated. Somebody is asking, how do I give my life to Christ? Believe in your heart that God sent his only son to die for you. Believe that he came as man and died. Then he rose on the third day for you. Once you believe that, then confess it. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I believe that you came to this world to die for my sins. I believe that you died for my sins. I also believe that you arose on the third day for my justification. Today, I confess you as my Lord and Savior, and I accept this gift of eternal life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed this morning? Yes, sir. I'm so excited. If you have just said that prayer, there's a contact on the screen. 090-3094-9735. 090-3095, sorry, 9735. All right? Send a message and say, Apostle, I just gave my life to Christ. We'll be very glad um, to receive it. Over 6,000 of us are gathered across our platform this morning. So I'm expecting, huh? I'm expecting to see that you will do it. You take your health serious. Is that okay? I'm expecting feedback. And you are promised that you're going to do it, right? Huh? Yes, Good. So I'm expecting feedback. I'm expecting feedback. I'm expecting that somebody's going to take that serious. I can't wait to see you. Share it on, on, on Twitter. Femi Lazarus El Talk. Hey, we are not trying to trend. We are trying to create an awareness for believers. I don't need anything like this to trend. What's, what's my business with that? Take it serious. Okay? I look, and this is going to even help me to recognize many of your faces. Because I'm going to see everyone. I will see you this morning. I'll take my time to make sure. I myself now, I'm going out to do it. God bless you so much. See you on Monday till we see you again. Okay? The hand of God rests upon you. His protection is vested upon you. His jealousy will keep you. Amen. The things that have not worked this week will work for you. Amen. You enjoy God's help. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. In church, any of our branches, Port Harcourt. I'm going to be in Port Harcourt next month. 
I'm going to be in Port Harcourt by next month. Port Harcourt by next month. Next month. You, you have the flyer? Okay. They will, we'll put the flyer on Monday. If you're in Port Harcourt, hey, come, let's, let's have an amazing time in Port Harcourt, okay? God bless you so much. Have an amazing time. Bye-bye. Come on, make it loud to your lover. Make it loud to your father. Don't wait for a song this morning. Lift up a sound to the lover. Lift up a sound to your father. If I be lifted up, I would draw men to me. Lift up the name of your God. Just love on your lover this morning. 